Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining for this video as we're going to be talking about the trade that just went down between the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos that's sending Teddy Bridgewater over to the Broncos in exchange for a six-round pick. Um, so to make this happen, Carolina's going to be paying a portion of Bridgewater's um, compensation for 2021 as part of a restructured contract in order to finalize this deal to send him over to the Denver Broncos. So Drew Locke, Teddy Bridgewater, that's going to be the competition that we're going to have to see play out throughout training camp leading into the preseason. And the Broncos will have to decide who they want. They've been stating the entire time they wanted to bring in someone to push Drew Locke, to compete with Drew Locke. So they want Drew Locke to win the um position. However, you know, if Teddy Bridgewater comes out and shows that he's got it, and which I think he's going to come out and prove that he's the better quarterback, then so be it. I mean, both of these guys, you know, former first round picks, you know, so the talent is there. Drew Locke, obviously the more gifted one in terms of just pure skills in terms of throwing the ball, but Bridgewater has been the better decision maker throughout his career. Um, and if you look at just last year alone and compare these guys, you know, Bridgewater, although Carolina just went four and 11 with him at the quarterback position. He was 69% completion, um, 3,700 yards passing, 15 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. So you love the interception ratio, given that he almost threw for nearly 4,000 yards, but just 15 passing touchdowns. You want your starting quarterback to probably get you a little bit more than that throughout the air. That being said, Drew Locke was not um, impressive at all last year. He was about 57. Well, he was 57% completion. He went four and nine as a starter. He threw 15 interceptions, which I believe led the league in interceptions of 15 to 16 passing touchdowns. And he threw less than 3,000 yards. So it was not that impressive of an outing for him. Throughout his entire career, he's thrown 23 touchdowns to 18 interceptions, and he's eight and 10 as a starter. So obviously what he's done so far is not getting it done for um, the Denver Broncos. So he's going to have to elevate his game if he wants to win. They're going to give him every opportunity to do that. But at the same time, they're going to give Bridgewater the opportunity to come in and take this spot as well. One thing I will say, though, is that I'm pretty sure that come next year, they're probably going to be looking to draft him a quarterback if they don't decide to take one in the draft, which I'm pretty sure at this point, if you already got two guys, you're just going to go ahead and address another position. But yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there would have preferred to see the Broncos go ahead and acquire a quarterback this year. But yeah, they're just going to go ahead and bring in some guys to compete. And we'll see how it pays out. You know, sometimes you can end up giving up, giving up on a quarterback too quickly. Um, in the case of a Drew Locke, um, you know, I remember years ago when he was in the draft, the Dallas Cowboys, you know, Jerry Jones stated how he wanted to, um, how he wished he would have drafted um, Drew Locke. He really wanted Drew Locke at that time. I'm pretty sure right now he's happy with what he's got in comparison. But nevertheless, that doesn't mean that this guy can't turn it around and become um, the guy that the Broncos thought, think he um, can be. So we'll also have to see how that plays out. But obviously, they went ahead and got some insurance in Teddy Bridgewater, in which, like I said, I mean, I think he's going to end up being a starting quarterback, but you just never know, um, you know, whether or not he's going to be the day one starting quarterback or something. But one thing's for sure is that every team that's had Teddy Bridgewater as a starting quarterback, exception being his time with the Vikings because injuries, you know, has caused that. But yeah, if he's your starting quarterback, you're probably going to want to upgrade the position later on. But that being said, you know, if the Broncos defense can get it together, they've been a team historically that their defense has been able to carry them. Obviously, we're not talking about the same Broncos defense, but they still got some pieces on that team. And we'll see how this team gels together. So um, thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to see how this trade pans out and what other trades get done um, as we get closer and closer to the start of the draft tomorrow. So um, and do let me know if you want for me to stream the um, draft. Um, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, so just let me know in the comments. And if I get enough people that are interested in watching, I can do that. Um, probably I'm thinking that perhaps I know a lot of people probably won't be streaming the third day of the draft. Um, but that's probably a day that I'm looking to target as well, just because, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably won't be streaming that day. Um, but that being said, um, just let me know what you think in the comments. Other than that, thanks again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, as more news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. So thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.